what's going on guys I uh, hope your life is maybe trying to get back to a little bit of normality right now uh, here in the UK we're heading in the right direction the curve is on the downward slope uh, but there's still a lot of work to do before we get back to normality um, if there is such a thing as normality that is and it's the middle of June now and I hope you've all been sort of firing your engines up and maybe taking your cars out for the odd drive here and there I've seen quite a few uh, organized group runs all around the world in fact not just in the UK I personally haven't been on one myself yet but it's good to see that the car clubs are getting back up and running again and obviously having their socially distanced uh, runs out I mean personally I have been driving the car I have been going out for runs on my own just to release a bit of steam every now and again um, but I haven't been uploading I've taken I've taken a bit of a break from uploading for the past few weeks um, but I have been working like a beaver behind the scenes in fact in order to get myself a new headquarters and a new base for the Porsche network and I think having a new base and a, a base where I can just sort of park all of my cars and everything I need to all in one place will dramatically change the way I work and change the way uh, the channel content comes across to yourself so we're on our way there now uh, let's go check it out This is it. Welcome to the new home of the Porsche Network, a place where I can bring in my cars, a place where I can uh, work, use my own uh, tools, do DIY guides, bring basically a lot more varying content to the channel, which is something I've always wanted to do, but never really had the privacy to do so, the area in which to do so. And now I feel like, now I feel like I've got that. And it's great to be inside. So. Uh, I picked up the keys a few days ago and I've done a few changes already, not much to be honest with you but I've, uh, I've given some of the walls a lick of paint, obviously when I came in all of the walls were the white colour which you see at the top there and I've given them a grey colour, um, I think that will probably work well against the cars when I'm you know, maybe doing videos and taking, taking pictures of the cars so um, absolutely fantastic to be in here and finally being able to just have my own place fantastic it's so so brilliant I can't I can't really put it into words it may not seem like a big thing to you guys but to me it really really is uh, a big a big thing uh, a few things to consider though actually I mean I've, there's a bit of an echo in this room and this is the first video I've made in this area so I'm not sure what the echo will be like I've got my little microphone here so um, hopefully it's picking it up too well I might need to maybe put in a little bit of sound deadening around the place just to stop that kind of echo. I don't know how well or how, how much you can actually hear that. Uh, yeah, so there it is. So I'll show you around the place, but to be honest with you, right now there's really not much to look at. Um, obviously we've got a big garage door there, which allows obviously me to get the cars in. But what we're looking at basically is a quick 360 here. Is uh, it's like a thousand square foot uh, of floor space. Show you it from the corners just to basically show you how much actual space we have here one thing I'm not too sure about at the moment is the lighting I'm not too I'm not too sure how the lighting is coming coming across on the video uh, so I may need to do lighting upgrades get maybe really bright super bright LED tube lighting uh, which I think would look really good and really make the place really really bright obviously this is just a temporary setup here but this is obviously the, the most important thing and it's where the teas and coffees go. So this is the main door to the place. Come through here. Uh, there's not much to it as I say. That's the little bathroom there. And then we come back into the garage, the garage itself. So just by looking at the fact that we can get one car in there, uh, there's obviously a lot more room. I suspect I'm going to be setting up my work area in this little section here. So it's probably going to take, going to take up all of that area, probably to about maybe there-ish and come along here. And then basically all that area over there 
can be for cars. I'll probably fit four cars in here. I might not have them all in at once. So allow me to explain why this whole garage has come about and why I've actually taken the plunge to get this. I think for a number of years now, I've probably been maybe a little bit held back uh, or I feel like I've been held back in maybe work situations and uh, content for the channel. I haven't really been able to put the content out that I want to be able to put out. And sometimes I think my content may be a little bit repetitive and I think this will change all of that. Um, normally my videos will start with either me in the cockpit of the car, in the driver's seat of the car, driving along, or you'll find me outside an unused warehouse or a, a, an office space which I, isn't actually being used. And having this space will just allow me to do so much more with regards to DIY videos, which I've been wanting to do for a while, but you know, I haven't really got the, uh, the privacy while doing these videos. And also one thing I've, I've always loved and always wanted to do is kind of like a poor man's Jay Leno's garage. Maybe what I'd like to do at some point is get other people's cars in and we can sort of do a walk around, have a look at the modifications on the car, and then take the car out for a drive and really just sort of like a 10, 15 minute review. And that allows me to give content on lots of other cars as opposed to just my Cayman. 911 and my Cayenne really. So hey, if you're willing to travel up to the north of England and you've got a car which you think might be a great fit for this garage, we could do a 10, 15 minute walk around, as I say, a drive, and just basically more content for the channel, more varying content for the channel. Just realized there's paint on that seat. I hope I haven't got paint on my arse. Bollocks. So that's it for this video. Uh, future videos, you'll probably see me milling around this garage uh, doing DIY videos, um, but I'm really excited for the future of this channel. Really excited to have my cars in here. You know, it's gonna be such a massive step up for me, I believe, um, and yeah, really excited. So thanks for sticking with me if you've stuck with me so far. Thanks for sticking with me through the little blip that I had a few weeks ago. Um, obviously, I was intending on quitting the channel, uh, but I've since seen sense, you know, it wouldn't be the right thing to do. Um, I owe it to you guys who stuck with me through, uh, th since the start of the channel, really. Um, and, and I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers as well. It would be, it would be almost, like, it would be really stupid to just throw in the towel now. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss a single thing. You can also follow the Porsche Network on Instagram and on Facebook. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon on the Porsche Network.